Hey y'all, I am excited about today's video because it is part of the five under $5 playlist challenge. And that's where we have to create projects that are under $5 each to make. And I love creating home decor that looks super cute and adorable and is affordable. It's on a budget. So that's what I love to do. And that's what I'm excited to share today. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This video is primarily Dollar Tree stuff, but I did get this little decor set from Target Dollar Spot. It was on clearance, so I'm sure I only paid like a dollar or two for it. But anyway, I gave this two good coats of folk art paint in the color Vintage White. Now this rub on transfer did come from Dollar Tree. And when I place it on the wood piece, I don't remove the backing. I just put it where I like it and then I hold it down and cut off half of the backing and then press that side down and then I remove the other half of the backing. And that kind of helps keep it in place where you want it without it accidentally sticking in the wrong spot. And then just use a craft stick or something like that to rub the transfer on. And I just pointed out where you can see that the transfer is transferring. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can actually tell, but it starts to lighten up or look a little bit grayish. Now just continue to rub it and to see if it's finished, hold down the transfer sheet and start to pull up one of the corners of the sheet. And if you see any of the image on the sheet, then just place it back down and continue to rub. It doesn't always turn grayish. So that is just another way that you can check. Gently pull up the sheet when it's all done. And I chose to seal mine with a layer of Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge, because I don't really like the shiny stuff as much. <laughs> This turned out so cute, y'all, and it was so easy to make, too. This cost me about $2.25 to make. $1.25 for the rub-on transfer and maybe a dollar for the wood piece. So it just goes to show that you can make some really cute decor on a budget. One thing that I love to do is connect and collaborate with other DIY YouTubers. And today I'm joining Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and the guest host this month is Favi from Arrows and DIY. And it's the five under $5 challenge where each of our projects needs to be $5 or less. And the playlist will be linked below as well as a link to the host channels. DIY number two coming at ya. I'm taking this little pumpkin wood shape that I got in a pack from Dollar Tree and I'm painting it with folk art paint in the color linen. I then took two different sizes of washi tape and marked off the pumpkin to make stripes. And I did vary the size of the stripes as well as the tape to add interest. And I painted them with folk art paint in the color mushroom. And I peeled off the tape before it was dry. Here we go, there we go. <laughs> and I used my heat tool to dry everything. And see me using my heat tool? I then took the washi tape and marked it off the same, but in the opposite direction. So put it down the same way, but just going the other way. Before I painted it again, I marked up where the original tape was so I'd know where to place that tape back on. And I was gonna go for a buffalo check type look. I used my heat tool again. I've got it linked below if you wanna check it out. It comes in handy, but you could always use a blow dryer or just wait for it to dry naturally. Then I put the original tape back on using the markings as a guide, and then I painted it again with the mushroom color and peeled it off before it dried. I wanted to add that moody blue color that I've been just really crushing on lately. So I used a ruler to mark, mark off some lines. I took a paintbrush and then kind of freehanded painting the lines using the ones that I penciled in as a guide. And this floral piece was left over from another project last year. So I'm just adding that to the top to kind of jazz it up. And I wanted this to stand up on its own. So I'm using a tower tumbling block to hold it up and just hot glue it in place. Y'all, this didn't even cost me a dollar to make because the pumpkin was part of a package and probably cost me like 25 cents. The floor was part of a larger floral bunch, so just say like a quarter for that too. And I'm gonna use this as a filler on my tear tray and I think it looks so cute. Are you a crafter or are you looking to make more connections in the creator community? Then you need to join Crafty DIYs on a budget on Facebook. I'm going to have a link in the description box below. Be sure and join. And I really do hope you support and encourage the other crafters and creators in the group and post something that you're working on. This wood round is from Dollar Tree and it has a pumpkin on it then and some other stuff etched around it. I guess it's leaves and florals, but I really didn't want that. So I took some spackle from Dollar Tree and I filled in all the areas that had the etching and I let it dry overnight. And then I sanded it down until it felt, felt smooth. Captain was on the scene for a hot second while I marked off the sections with tape that I was gonna paint. And I added a second piece of tape and then painted the top portion with territorial beige. And while that dried, I painted the bottom portion black and carefully, or at least as carefully as I could, painted around that pumpkin. 
The top portion was dry so I could remove the painter's tape and I moved it up and marked off one stripe so I could paint it with that beautiful moody blue color. Keep in mind y'all, the colors that I'm choosing aren't your thing. If they're not your thing, don't worry. Just pick colors that suit your style and decor and it'll be totally awesome. Now, it's ready to paint that one last section and I've moved the tape and I'm using folk art paint in the color linen to paint that final stripe. And on the raised portion of the pumpkin, I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. And I had this wood word that came in a pack and I painted the bottom word with the pumpkin color. And the top word, the word happy, I'm painting with the linen color. And I also painted the inside of the pumpkin with that same linen color. And I decided that the stem of the pumpkin should be brown, so I used two different brown colors to paint it. And I thought polka dots would look fun, so I added some pumpkin colored dots of varying sizes in the pumpkin, and I used the end of a paintbrush to make them. And I felt like it needed a pop of color, so I added some moody blue colored polka dots as well. I made a bow off camera and hot glued that to the center of the sign, and I trimmed up the ends and fluffed the bow as needed. I hot glued down the word Woodward to the front of the sign. And this is a double sided sign and I felt like it needed some more jazzing up. So I just hot glued some twine all the way around the outside of the sign. So this sign turned out so cute and I really liked it. It only cost about $1.75 to make, $1.25 for the sign, maybe a quarter for the word, not even a quarter for the bow and the twine. I mean, that's not too bad. We're already on DIY number four, y'all, and I'll give you a spoiler alert. This one turns out great. And I'm taking this square sign from the Dollar Tree. I taped off the frame and painted the inside with that vintage white color. Y'all, making buffalo check is really pretty easy, and let me show you how to do it. We already have the base color, so I mark off the lines using a small piece of tape as my spacer. And for this project, I'm using three paint colors. My lightest color, the vintage white color, is my base. And now that I have the tape down, I then paint the open spaces with that second darker color, linen. I pull off the tape, let the paint dry, or you can dry it with your heat tool. And then I put more tape on going in the opposite direction using that spacer as a guide. Now before painting, I mark where the original tape was. And this makes it easier so that you don't have to guess or mess up your project when you put the original tape back on. So after that's done, paint another layer of the second color, but do not remove the tape, let it dry. Once that coat is dry, you're gonna put the original tape back on using the marks that you made earlier as your guide. And once you've done that, Take your third color, which should be your darkest color, and paint over the open areas. At this point, I go ahead and pull up the tape before it dries, so hopefully the paint won't dry and stick to like the sign and make it hard to remove. And I take three pumpkins from the pack of wood pumpkin shapes that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I paint all of them with the color linen. And I use washi tape to prep the pumpkins for painting, and then I paint pumpkin color stripes on two of the pumpkins. The third pumpkin I just painted with the pumpkin color <laughs> and I removed the tape from the other two pumpkins and I'm leaving one of the striped pumpkins as is and creating a buffalo check pattern for the other. I do the same thing as I did with the previous piece and mark the lines and paint. And once it's dry I reapply the original tape and then I use a terracotta color as my third darker color and I paint all over. And I always pull up that tape right away. Now this part I should have done later because it would have just been easier for me, but I'm using some hot glue to add some jute twine around the stem of each pumpkin. And then I add some brown curved lines to represent the ribs of the pumpkins and add another brown to give it dimension. And I use my Cricut to create this decal and I use my favorite paper transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl to transfer it onto the sign. If you don't have a Cricut, you could hand litter it or decoupage something or use a vinyl cling or something lots of options. And I used a white paint pen to add some highlights to the pumpkin ribs as well as add some other little embellishments to each of the pumpkins. And I don't think that the It's Fall y'all was standing out enough, so I outlined it with, with a white paint pen to make it pop more. And now it's time to put it all together. Since the pumpkins were not going to be fully supported in the position I was putting them in, I used cubes to support them. And wow, I love how this one turned out. 
It looks super cute and will fit right in with my fall decor. This sign cost me $1.25 and the pumpkins were from a pack, so say it's like 75 cents for them. And the other things were odds and ends left over for, so for two bucks, I mean, it's a really cute sign. Our final DIY for today is another one that I love. Y'all know I had to make a book stack and I'm painting the top layer with that of the crate with this moody blue color. The middle layer is going to be linen and that final layer is final layer is going to be pumpkin. I can't talk now. <laughs> I made a decal with my Cricut and I'm just adding it to the faux book stack. And if you don't have a Cricut, you can use stickers or hand letter it. It'll still look awesome. I'm adding some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and some orange twine that I think is also from Dollar Tree. And I don't show this, but I add some little pine cones and a little tiny pumpkin that I think came from potpourri that I think was from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> So this turned out super adorable and I'm just loving it so much. The crate cost me $1.25 and the other stuff maybe cost me a dollar. So for $2.25, I made a really cute decor piece. Just goes to show you that you can have really cute decor and still be on a budget. Let's take a final look at today's project. I love this one. I love that one too. It's so cute, it'll be a great filler. And look at this sign, it's awesome. And this sign, awesome too. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all those of you that have liked and subscribed to my channel. I'm almost at 5,000. What? That's just amazing to me. And I hope that you can see that you can really create super cute, adorable things, high-end looking things on a budget. And if you want to follow me here on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.